All right, let's make a bone reduction guide. The first thing that I want to do is I want to block this model out because there may be undercuts in here and the, the reduction guide won't fit. So what I'm going to do is I've made a blocked out model and I'm not too happy with the vertices because they are, are pretty dense. I've smoothed it down a little bit on this side. So we, we want to remesh this, so make sure it's selected. And then in the guide module, we're going to look for a voxel remesh. So in the guide temporaries, we've got these all over the place in the wax up module. And you'll find this menu, it all does the same thing. Click on voxel remesh. And because it's a, a segmentation model from a diacom, it's very complex. So don't be alarmed if your remesh hasn't worked the way it's supposed to. I'm going to click on 0.4 and this is a good mesh and apply. You'll notice that the remesh has made all types of little other little components there. So if I hide, hide these we've got all these little bits and pieces over here and this is because the DICOM model is very complicated and there's a lot of internal structures in it. So I'm going to delete all this other stuff that we don't need. Next thing that I want to do is I would like to paint a layer of the top and this is our our spacer or our fitting surface because if, if we imagine a bone reduction guide going across here we want it to actually absolutely fit so I'm going to be taking this um, passive model and we're going to then paint a layer of the top of it. So I'm going to go to paint layer, paint on layer, make this into my target model and we're going to start painting. We're going to set this to two millimeters, which gives us a one millimeter overlap. I'm going to just try and cover, cover this like that. And this is going to be our interim little piece and our cutting object for our bone reduction. It's going to be the, you know, the fitting surface of it. So I'll cover this as best as what I can, get rid of the holes, etc. So obviously some of these holes won't fill up but the majority have to get us a nice, like a, a watertight, smooth object over this CD scan. All right, so we're going to accept this. And we're going to leave it at, at that. So I'm going to finish the layer. Next thing what we're going to do is we're going to paint a layer on top of this layer. So the target, we'll call that target model and we're going to paint another layer on. This layer is going to be at least two millimeters or three millimeters thick because we, we want it to be thick enough for our bone reduction. So I'm, I'm not going to commit to finishing this because we're going to make our cutting tool first. So I'm going to exit the weight paint 
and hide this for now h to hide and we're going to hide this one as well now we're going to go over to our splint module and in the splint module we have um, a section occlusal or plane cutter there we're going to shift right click to place our cursor and draw a plane and then using the the G key and the E key we're going to put this on the highest buckle surfaces to to create a plane cutting tool something like that all right then we're going to make a clues of plane which extrudes these vertices inwards so here what I'm doing is I'm going to reconnect the insides to the highest points so that we can get a plane going something like this okay possibly here we can move this one to a higher higher point and this one's quite a low point like this that's looking good then we're going to make a tool okay so this is made a, a tool a cutting tool and this cutting tool um, we're going to then unhide our other layer and we can see where this layer is this one we've got instructions to bring this down by by five millimeters so we're going to go G Z five millimeters that brings it down five millimeters to cut it so alt H to unhide and again we're going to select this and we're going to go into weight paint mode and then we're going to make sure that we've got a little bit of an overlap happening happening and this is going to be our primary holding unit let's do the same on the inside I will actually hide the model so we can see this a little bit better something like that now what I ideally what I want to do is I want to lift this cutting tool over the distal side so we're going to exit weight paint we're going to go into this specific one and I'm going to be selecting a few vertices along this side so I'm going to go C select these vertices like that and I'm going to go into proportional editing and use GZ GZ to bring these up and over and with the mouse wheel I can then just grab these vertices up GZ like something like that and this is our cutting tool of course it's handy to see where the implant sleeves are let's have a look and see where these sleeves are so we've got the sleeves over here I'll move them into a different collection so we can see all right so this one we can grab grab GZ a little bit higher like that all right so I'm, I want to make sure that this specific one has enough layer on the bottom so again into weight paint and we're going to just paint this a little bit further down yeah so I want to make sure there's at least a three millimeter rim going there that should do it what we're going to do is we're going to commit to this and we're going to click on accept layer 
and then we can smooth it a little bit. That's looking good. So we're going to exit. It's going to remesh it for us. And we're going to finish this layer. Now finally we want to make the cut. Make sure that we cut the fitting surface. So this is an object being cut and this is an object making the cut. Remember this is offset by a little bit. So we're going to apply this cut. And if I hide this model now, we should have a good cut on the inside. Now there are two layers there. Okay, so what we're going to do is we can go into the model designer and we can clean that. We can clean it so which gets rid of everything else. Clean object. So we've got a neat cutting, um, a neat fitting surface. And then of course we're going to then make our cut. So this becomes an object being cut. Object being cut and this is the cutting object, the cutter. And let's apply that. Now we could delete the tool and we can delete the other tool. Let us separate this. In the model designer we can click separate and now we've got an upper and a lower section. Let's delete this one now. We, we are finished with this. So here is our bone, bone reduction guide. Just give it a bit of a color so we can actually see what is going on. I feel the distals are a little bit too long and I've extended. These can be trimmed very easily. We're going to go to the model designer and just simply select it and place my cursor. And then we're going to go to the lasso cutting tool and outline a little bit of a line going around sort of parallel with the white object and then click on the keep outside and accept that. Let's do the same on the other side. Place the cursor. Lasso. Keep outside and accept. So the next step would be to place the dynamic attachments onto the blue primary object and then connecting up the sleeves. Thanks for watching.